Baking and burning food is a daily activity for all societies. In Eritrea, a three stone basis with circular flat iron plate known as mogogo is a common traditional stove for baking. However, this traditional stove consumes a lot of burning wood, needs kerosene or oil to accelerate burning, and has high risk for fire for it's built on the ground. It also creates too much smoke which would result in health problems and pollution. An improved stove known as Arhanet has been introduced in Eritrea. This stove is gender sensitive, good for health and for the environment. The traditional stove normally consumes 13 kg of burning wood to prepare 14 injera which is traditional bread, while Arhanet only takes 8 kg to prepare the same amount. Wonderful stove that you have invented, Mr. Devers. I give you here. Tell me, how about you? How you came up with this wonderful invention, and how you introduced this savior stove to Eritrea? I want to know more. Okay. I was yes, I was uh, in the Eritrea from the first was Mara, and then joined the field, and this experience combined the field experience combined with the new technology. Dynamic. I, I introduced this stove with the research training center as Mara and other mm -hmm. scientists so that it was able now to be distributed or dissemination around the country. And so far, what's the achievement? How many people have actually got the stove that you've been able to give this stove to? So how many women have built it, in other words? Well, at the beginning it was very difficult because they couldn't believe that it is important as much as the old one. But later on, it becomes very known, and people accepted it, and, and demand becomes high. So up to now, uh, approximately 180,000 stores are So what will be the end result, Ebisay, after 10 years when you have covered the country and every woman has a savior at Hanet Stove. What's going to be the outcome for this country in the future? Well, it will be great. First, the health of the people will be secured and the environment and the ecosystem is going to be uh, friendly with the environment of the people. And uh, furthermore, the land will be green as it has been 100 years ago. So we are very it's wonderful, Tebesai, you know, and we are so proud in Vita to work with your government in this bottom-up project. This is for the people, by the people. This is something that the women build with the support of the Women's Association, with the Ministry of Agriculture, the Home Economics, ladies who do so much, and we in Vita are very proud to be a partner and to, to get money from the European Union, who are a great supporter of this country, and the Irish government, and together we can make a project 
through good management, purchasing all the items locally, all sustainable to build a future. It's a great pleasure. That is a great pleasure also that we want you to continue until we finish our, until we accomplish our goal. So. There are differences. There are a lot of differences. When it was completed, we learned how to construct it. We have even been able to teach others how to make it. We went as far as we can, and the people there were able to make it as well. The change so many, especially when it comes to reduction of smoke. It made a massive improvement in our lives, which is why we call it Arhanat, which is savior or rescuer. This is very different from the traditional mogogo. The traditional mogogo consumes a lot of firewood. The smoke was unbearable and damaging to our eyes. But Arhanat works in a different way. You can just use simple twigs and small pieces of wood with very little consumption. Since there is no smoke, our clothes don't get dirty and our eyes don't get harmed. The Arhanat is so much better than the traditional Mogogo. It's beyond compare. There's almost no consumption of firewood. In the past, my children would have to go far distances into the woods to gather firewood. But now they don't have to. We just collect small twigs and scraps of wood from the surrounding area. <laughs> The traditional Mogoko is an efficient. There's a lot of smoke, a lot of consumption of firewood, a lot of effort and energy required from our mothers. Now, instead of wasting time searching for wood, they can easily use a piece of wood, twigs, and kindly. Arhanat has made enormous contributions and changes to the environment and to the society. are good for women and they're good for the environment as well. They burn less fuel, they emit less carbon dioxide and this causes less damage to the environment. And really this is happening in Heritrea, it is happening in Ireland as well. We are all together in this struggle to make sure that climate change doesn't get worse. So in a way we are partners with Eritrea when we do this work, Ireland and Eritrea. But who's going to pay for the stoves John? Where does carbon finance come into all of this? Well, as you said, Aina, we live in one world and we have one climate and in Ireland, UK, Europe, we are emitting carbon, changing the climate for Debesayan, for the ladies, for the farmers of this country. We are damaging their environment and their livelihood. So, at the same time, when the women build these stoves, they're able to help change the environment for the better. They reduce carbon emission, which improves the climate. So, they are helping to reverse the damage we're causing. And the beauty of carbon finance is we can actually generate money from the carbon savings that the women of Eritrea are generating from these new saviour stoves. And that money will pay for the national dissemination of stoves for every household in the country and people in Ireland will benefit as much as the people in Eritrea. And that's the beauty of carbon finance.